Alrighty, so this is the project that I took a picture of and posted to Facebook today. And I got the idea off of Pinterest. There was a heart-shaped box on there and I really wanted to do something Valentine's because it's what, let's see, two days away? So this is a fairly quick project that you could throw together if you needed a little last minute Valentine card or a little box. And um, so anyways, this is the box that I came out with and in order to give it to somebody like this, you would have to sit it down on its side and I thought, nope, that is not going to work for me. We need to do something different. So I created this little stand here to put it in and I put a little sentiment on the front of it and it just says you are one of a kind. That way, if you were to give this to somebody like a coworker or whatever, you could put it um, on the stand like this and the heart would actually stand up. So I had not intended on sharing this card, but this afternoon I just kind of got crafty in my craft room and I decided to create this little card to kind of go along with the little heart box so that if you wanted to give a card along with it, you could, or if you just wanted to give the card by itself, you could, whatever. So anyways, I created these two things. All right, so let's jump on into tonight's project. So I'm gonna start out by making the little Valentine heart box. Got all my papers here. And I went ahead and colored this. What I did was I used the, uh, nope, that's not it. I did use that stamp set, but the one I wanna show you first is the Heart Happiness. And I used this stamp, which is my favorite one out of this stamp set. And then I just colored it all in with my Stampin' Dimensionals. And let me show you the ones that I used. So this is the Light Pool Party, the Light Rich Razzleberry, uh, Light Bermuda Bay, the Light Old Olive, and this is the Dark Daffodil Delight and the Light pumpkin pie. So those are the Stampin' Blends that I use to color those in with. So for the hearts, I have a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock, and this is about eight and a half by four. Then for the two little sides that is going to be right here and right here, those I had actually made two inches and two and a half, but I felt like they could come up the side of the heart a little bit further. So I decided to go ahead and make these a little bit bigger. So one of these is three and a half by one in the, f no, 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 I take that back. I'm giving you the wrong thing. One of these is two by three and a half, and the other one is two by three. And then these two pieces are the ones that are going to be the base that you can sit it on. And this one is four and a half by one and a fourth, and then three and a half by one and a fourth. And then I cut a couple strips of Whisper White. Um, you don't need to, but I cut to in case I stamp wonky the first time. And these are three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters. I think I forgot to write that down, but I'm certain that that's what size those are. And then to stamp your heart, um, this is about four by four. And um, so anyways, that's all the paper that you're going to need for that. So I'm going to get my Simply Scored scoring tool out and I'm sorry that I've zoomed in too much and I don't know why but with Facebook live once you get zoomed in to where you want to be you cannot change it after you've gone live so this is kind of going to be a close-up view tonight but hey you'll get to see exactly what I'm doing <laughs> so I've got the piece that is four and a half by one and a quarter in here and I can tell that I did not cut that just straight in my trimmer. I'm off a little bit, so I'm going to butt this up over in the corner. I'm not going to worry about that because this is going to end up getting covered up and you won't know that I don't have it cut straight anyway. So we're going to score at three quarters of an inch, uh-oh, then an inch and a half, then two and a quarter, three, 
and three and three quarters. So basically what I've done is I've just scored every three fourths of an inch on this. So then these two little outside pieces are gonna end up laying flat. So this first score line, I'm going to fold this way. And then I'm just gonna go across and do a fan or an accordion kind of a fold. Give that a good little pinch. Then when you're done, this is what it's gonna end up looking like is the letter M with two little tails sticking out right there. And that is all that I'm gonna need that simply scored four right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get this put together. So this is the other little piece that is the base. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna flip this upside down. I'm just gonna use fast fuse. You can use whatever kind of adhesive you like and put that on those two little tabs right there. And so I'm gonna make this even with the end right here. Get that pushed down and then even with this end over here. And then what I'm gonna end up doing right now, see it's loose and it kind of moves back and forth. But when I get this stamped and glue that to that, to that little shape there, it's going to help hold it in place. So let's go ahead and get that stamped while it's on my mind so that I don't forget to do it. And I'm gonna bring in my pierce mat because this is a photopolymer stamp and it does stamp better when you use it on top of something that's got a little squishiness to it. So let me see, what ink am I using? I'm gonna use my cherry cobbler. Get that inked up in there, and then hopefully, and I may pull this out of your sight, but I wanna be able to stamp it one time and not have to redo it. And that turned out pretty darn good. It's pretty much in the center. Then what I did with the other one was I just cut up the center right here about probably a quarter of an inch and then I cut from the outside corners into that spot and gave myself a little bannered edge. Then I'm going to do that again on this side and I'm sorry y'all I'm not even looking at the comments right now because I know if I do I'm going to get off track and I'm going to tell you to do something wrong or I'm going to mess this up in some way. Now on the other one I actually put liquid glue but I forgot to bring that over here so I'm just going to use my fast fuse on this instead so that I don't have to walk back over there and get my liquid glue but I think that liquid glue would definitely be the better alternative for this and what I had done was I took my liquid glue and I just put it all along these little edges of the paper and then stuck my sentiment down. Now these two pieces right here, I do need my scoreboard again. I forgot about this. The scoring on these is really simple. What you're going to do, and let me look at my notes to make sure that I don't tell you a fib. All right, so I'm going to put this piece in, which is the two and a half by two. And so the two and a half is the long sides and I'm going to score at a half of an inch and then at one and a half inches. So both of my long sides have a half inch score line. This is the one that you do three score lines on. So a half of an inch, then turn it so the two inches across the top, score it at one half inch and one and a half inches. And I'm going to just give these a little trim at the bottom. And then at the top, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'll show you that in a minute. And then these, I want this tab down here. So I'm just gonna cut this little square corner out right there and cut that little square corner out right there. And then this is the tab that'll hold it together. So of course, I'm gonna wedge that out. And then I'm gonna cut a little wedge into the bottom right here. Now, what I'm going to do, let me take this candy out. And this one, I put in some of those gummy lifesavers. And y'all, the reason I have these is because my dog loves them. I don't know why she loves lifesaver gummies, but she is head over heels with them. And we found out during Christmas maybe or New Year's that she loves these because one of Tucker's friends were over and they had some and they gave her one and she lost her mind. She was begging for them. It was so funny. So anyway, I bought her some gummy um, lifesavers as a treat. 
So, as you can see right here, I've kind of got this cut almost at a little bit of an angle. And the reason why I did that is because I, I don't want much of this heart to, to be sticking out past the sides of this. And you could actually see these corners sticking out just slightly past the, the heart right there. So that's why I cut that at an angle. Now you don't have to be precise with this. I'm just gonna eyeball it and I'm going to put myself a little mark right in what I would consider to be the center there. And I'm gonna come down here probably, I would say maybe an eighth of an inch or a little bit better, but not quite a fourth of an inch. And then just trim that at an angle that way so hopefully when I put this together, these little sides won't stick out past the edge of my heart. So, got that going on. Now let's put some adhesive on here, and I'm just gonna use my Fast Fuse, put it on both sides. I'm gonna look up and see if I have any comments or questions. Thank you, Glenda. Glenda, you, are, you have got to be one of the kindest, sweetest, people that I know and y'all Glenda is one of my team members and she is so talented and I love it when she shares her projects with me. Um, she's a little bit shy about it but she can really come up with some great projects. All right, so I've got those done. I'm gonna move these aside for just a minute. I'm gonna grab my Big Shot and hopefully, well, this is gonna be way close because I'm zoomed in too much, but this is my bigger piece of the cherry cobbler. I'm gonna be using my Sweet and Sassy Framelits, and when I bought these, I really didn't know if I would use them very often, but I have used them a ton for Valentine projects. Now, something that you can do here, I don't want to fiddle with cutting these out two different times, so I'm going to cut out both of them at once. You can use your precision base plate if you have it, just to make sure that your framelit goes all the way through. Let me slide this this way a little bit. Um, but normally what I do is I'll run it through once and then just come back a second time and usually, um, it'll go ahead and cut through two pieces and you can tell I have got that green glitter everywhere from where I cut that out earlier to make my card. But I love glitter so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so I think that's all that I need that for for the moment. I'm going to put that back down there and then we'll go ahead and where is, nope, I lied. I lied. I'm going to get that back out. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So for that one, I'm gonna use the third from the largest heart. Glenda, you are very sweet, thank you. I'm glad that I inspire you, because that is really my goal, is I've always been a teacher at heart. When I was a young person, I have always loved kids and I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher, teacher, a kindergarten teacher and it life just didn't allow me to do that and it's okay. Um, but I love to teach. So this is part of the reason I love doing Stepping Up so much is because I get to craft, which I love to do, and I get to teach people, which I love to do. So as y'all can tell, when I flip this over, I stamped this once and it didn't come out very well, so I just flipped that puppy over and stamped it on the other side. So to put this heart on top of my Cherry Cobbler heart, I decided to use dimensionals. You could just glue it down flat if you want to. And then I'm just gonna center that up and stick that down. Okay, so now, 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 we will go ahead and get our little side pieces put on. So basically what I'm gonna do, let me lay it down flat so hopefully you can see better. I'm gonna line up this little piece of my heart right down here with where this corner is. And because this heart has a little bit of a curve to it and my score line is straight, I'm going to overlap that a little bit so that when I fold it in, all you see is the heart. All right, so let's do the other side. I'm gonna do that the same way. 
And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Oopsie, I almost put that on there wrong. So then I'm gonna flip this over this way. And, uh, oh, wait a minute, I got myself turned around for just a second. Here we go, back on track. That score line messed with my mind just a minute. All right, so get that stuck down there. Then I'm gonna tuck this little tail in, or this little tab. Stick that down right there, fold this over, and then stick the other side of my heart down. So that is so easy to put this little heart together. So let's go ahead and put it in our little base, and it fits in there just perfect. Let me turn it around this way so you can see. And see, you can also cover up the back if you want to. I didn't make one of these for the back side, but if you wanted to, you could make two of these and have one in the front and one in the back. I mean, for that matter, you could make two of those and decorate both sides. But anyways, what I'm gonna put in this, I've got the, what are these called? The two by eight cellophane bags. And I decided in this one, I would do some M&Ms, which I know that they have M&Ms that are Valentine colored, but I just picked up plain old regular M&Ms. You could put a number of different kind of candies in here. Hang on just a second, the bag is not wanting to cooperate with me. But anyway, oopsie, <laughs> M&Ms are going everywhere. So then what I'm gonna do, is I've got my Whisper White Ribbon, and this is the Classic Weave, is that? Yep, this is the Classic Weave Ribbon. I'm just gonna squish all those M&Ms down there, and I'm gonna tie this in a bow around my cellophane bag, and we are gonna cut this off, because it doesn't need to be that tall. Let me make sure I'm still in view. All right, so we're gonna move this out of the way and real quick like, I'm gonna show you how I put this card together. I'm actually using this glimmer paper, which is in the occasions catalog. Let me make sure I'm in view where you can see it. This is the Myths and Magic 6x6 Glimmer Paper. And the colors are iridescent, which is this white one. It kind of looks like the um, Dazzling Diamonds, but it's more iridescent than that one. And then there is light green and turquoise are the three colors. So whenever Stampin' Up! comes out with glimmer paper and they did the same thing last year, I always have to buy a pack because I love, love, love it. So this card is just as easy as the box. I just started out with an eight by four piece of that thick vanilla, or thick whisper white. I like using the thick best of all. I like using it for my card bases and for my boxes because it's so sturdy and thick. I'm gonna score that at four inches. Get that folded in half. Burnish that score line. Oopsie, drop that. Then I'm just gonna use snail for this. You can use liquid glue if you like. Throw that right on top, get it centered. And then I've got three hearts cut out. The largest one, the next to the largest one, and then the third. And so what I'm gonna do here is the green glimmer paper. I'm just going to adhere that just flat down to the Whisper White. But I want to use dimensionals on the heart just like I did with the box. I'm gonna pop this up on these dimensionals and then stick that on top of the glimmer paper. But as I said before, if y'all would rather glue yours down flat, if you wanted to send it through the mail, I think it would be fine to put a couple pieces of um, the dimensionals on there, but you could always glue it down flat if you want to. Then I'm gonna put some more of this snail on the back and then stick that right on top of that card. So this is a very quick card to put together. 
So, all right, let me bring everything back into view. I'm just gonna lay these down flat so that you can see it better. Let me just make sure I'm in shot. Kathy, thank you, Anne. Hi, Anne. I didn't see you pop on either. And Rosie, thank you for being here. Lucy, Kathy, everybody, thank you girls for being here tonight. I appreciate y'all tuning in and hope you enjoyed this project. I will work on getting the tutorial on my blog one day this week and y'all can get all the dimensions and everything there. So y'all have a great night. I'm gonna go have some supper and I will talk to y'all later on. Love you a bunch. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.